Hi, I'm Will from Sterling Power. We're going to go through the combi switch functionality and uh, see what the different positions do for each different mode. So, what we have here is we have a combi which is pre-wired on our test bench. We have an AC in lead, an AC out lead. Now the out lead will go to our load bank. We'll be able to see the waveform when that comes on. The DC side we have rigged up at the moment to a 12 volt battery. Okay, so we've got 12.2 volts on the uh, DC side at the moment. So at the moment the unit is in its charge only on its zero uh, setting. So what this means is because we haven't got any AC power on the input, this unit is in effect off. Okay, it's not doing anything. So if you're leaving your boat on a marina power, okay, or you're leaving your caravan on a power which you don't want it to use battery power, okay, if you lose AC, then this is the perfect position for it to be into. So what will happen is if we turn on the AC power here, you'll see the unit turns on, it starts charging, you'll see that our voltage is going up, which is good. And you'll also see that it's got the AC waveform coming through and onto the output of the unit. So this will power up everything which is on the outside of the, look at the output of our unit. Okay, the benefit is, is if you have a, a loss in power, so your marina power goes out, the unit turns off. And it doesn't consume any power. So that's the charge only feature. So what we'll do is, is we'll go through the um, power saver auto first. So this uh, functionality is only really useful when you've got a mains powered fridge. Okay, it needs a, a wattage of over 40 or 50 watts to activate this. So let's show you what it does. Okay, we'll make sure I've got no load. So when you uh, put it onto this mode, you will see that you have a power saver function online LED is eliminated. So if you have a look at the waveform over here, it pulses. So say once a second roughly, it'll basically give out a, a, sort of like a feeler AC power to say, is there anything that needs power? Okay. And obviously at the moment we've got no load on, so it doesn't. However, if we give it some load, maybe a bit more, there you go. Okay, so you can see quite happily that um, well, we gave that about three or four hundred watts, which is typical for a fridge that's um, kicked in. It'll take a huge amount of power and then drop right down. Okay, so what will happen then as soon as your fridge is uh, disconnected, okay, you'll find that it'll then drop back down to its power saver mode. So now it's taking, once again, a very small amount of power to run this unit. So, as I said before, this is only really helpful when you've got a um, a fridge that's AC powered. Not a DC 12 volt fridge, but an AC powered fridge. Okay, if you then put shore power on, okay, so marina power on, what will happen is it'll start charging, okay, quite happily. And it will also let the power come to the output as well. So if you want to, as I say, use this in conjunction with um, you know, marina power, but to save your battery power, if you do ever have an outage, but keep your fridge running, that would be the setting to use. So let's go on to the third and last setting, which is the power saver off. So treat the power saver off as a simple just run button. Okay, so regardless of... Uh, the output power, if you switch it on, it will provide AC power all the time to the output. So you can see on the output here, we've got our, our pure sine wave being displayed. So regardless of any load that we've got on the output, this unit will now be inverting. Okay, it will also uh, become the automatic crossover switch, should you ever want to put AC power on. So if we just flip the switch, so it automatically clicks over, it's now uh, becoming a battery charger, and it's now letting the AC come through the unit onto your AC system on your vessel or onto your camper van.
If you've had an updated module fitted to one of these units, you might have an older style remote. Okay. If you've got such a remote, the functionality of the uh, module will be the, the new improved version. However, you might have unit off written on your remote. So if this is the case, you will actually have a charge only where it says unit off. So that's the only modification that you should do is internally. Externally, the switch is exactly the same. It's just the label you might have would be a slightly older variant where instead of saying charge only, it says unit off, but it will be a charge only module.